Good day, one and all. Welcome to another episode of Axiom TV. I am your host, Jason V. Sarif, aka the King of the North, aka Brave Mind, aka the Antichrist. Today's video, we will be speaking on innocence, the subject of innocence is you always hear all the time people referring to children or to some people as innocent um whenever a tragedy happens to a child we would say oh that child was innocent so today i want to um delve into the subject of innocence first let's um look what de google's definition of innocence is innocence is defined by Google as the state quality or fact of being innocent of a crime or offense I hate when someone decide uh, excuse me defines a word by putting the word in the definition so they have two other definitions that goes along with it. one is excuse me one is the lack of guile or corruption purity and I think that's the one that we are mostly accustomed to by its popular definition what one that we generally assume as the definition of innocence purity without guilt now with that definition going off of that definition the question now is is anyone including young children um, is anyone actually innocent? Well, my assertion is that if we actually take an objective look at life experience, that answer is no. There is actually no one that is innocent. And let me tell you how or why. No child, no matter how young, is actually innocent or they wouldn't be born. And what I mean by that is why else would nature allow children to be born in this gauntlet of challenges which is known as life experience life experience even for a child born to the wealthiest the most financially wealthiest um, parents on earth that child will still face a life of that includes um, pain and suffering as an aspect of it no living thing whether it be a blade of grass all the way up to a blue whale um to a bird no living thing escapes this fact if you put your emotions aside and just look at the the t life experience objectively just as a conscious being that is observing life you realize that to have a child in this merciless world is the action of a sadist and what I mean by that is I've, in fact um, I've done a previous video before on why we really have children why people really have children we may say that it is because we love them but the conclusion of that video and you more than welcome to check it out it's um, uploaded on it's one of the videos on at axiom TV on our channel the thinkers channel the objective thinkers channel the conclusion that I came to in that video is that the real reason why people have children in fact is the same reason why every other living thing has freedom excuse me it has children it is because it is due to um, the fact that we are more compelled to to have children than it is out of any um, then it is that then it can be attributed to love we clearly have a desire to see our children suffer as we do or why else would we bring them into such a world that we know that we ourselves have suffered through and have no control over only the appearance of a semblance of control and that is um, 
that is known as choice. And choice, if you think about it, is not something that we've given ourselves. If anyone, if anything that should be credited with um, providing human beings as well as any living thing with choice, any living organism with choice, it is nature. Many of us may try to pretend as if life is not overall a macrocosm of challenges with a microcosm of levels of challenges within it. But clearly that is what life is. I've just asserted to you that even um, the wealthy, financially wealthiest people on the planet, regardless of the smiles and nice suits and material items that you see them project or promote on television, these people are still um, susceptible to suffering and pain, as any of the rest of us are. So unless we change the laws of nature or the forces of nature this is the fact that life is challenging it is clearly intended to be challenging so bringing a child into such a world can is never actually out of the feeling of love or who would put some someone that they claim to love in harm's way and that is what life experience really is it is harm it is a it is a it is a construct of harm but one clearly that is constructed for us to learn from because that would explain all of the lessons that exist within life experience another thing i wanted to point out that if we look at life experience from that lens as being a challenge then you'd realize that when we are born, each child that is born is basically waking up in a room designed by a jigsaw from the movie Saw. It's more like a torture chamber. And we must learn to avoid circumstances and situations and actions um, that put us closer to... Um, danger or risk or threat put us at risk or threat in order to not only survive it but to overcome it and this is why I assert that life is a game because how else what else would we explain life being set up that way as thank you for taking the time to listen Subscribe to Axiom TV if you already haven't and you're a person desiring to be an objective thinker. Think of a salute to all the objective thinkers out there. Um, like our videos if you find value in them. Share them if you find value in them or wish to um, include someone else in on uh, hearing about the things that we, the topics that we speak on, which we try to make sure are meaningful ones and ones that um, you can get some value from and leave a comment whether you agree or disagree all I ask is that it's or excuse me all we ask is that it's a meaningful comment so that it adds on to the conversation and not take away from it also hit the uh, bell icon to receive any um, future notifications of videos that we upload thank you